I don't really know how I do it, but I, I, I make these things. And it's, it's almost like when I get into a sort of a flow state, it's just, I'm, I, I'm like a channel. And I really, I honestly, to this day, I don't really know how I painted that or how I painted that. It just channels through me and this, this comes out. My name is John Grandy. My practice is painting and we're in my studio in Brooklyn, New York. When I look at my paintings, I want to be able to have my eye travel throughout the painting because there's so much going on. I almost wanted to almost read like uh, notes and music, connecting different areas. And with these paintings here, there's a lot of little vignettes that I'm very, that I get very excited about. You could almost create seven different paintings out of, out of one painting. And I think that comes along from where these, uh, where these started, which were the postings around Manhattan, where you walking through the streets and these things, these little vignettes, they're so random. There is not one person sitting at that thing saying, I'm gonna rip this off, I'm gonna add this piece. It is all mark making from either nature, from a construction guy, from some guy coming by and tagging, to an advertiser guy coming out and putting a poster on top of it, someone putting a sticker, and another rip off. So they're so random, and I found this amazing beauty in these, this, this group of, of, of interactions that create this piece of, of art that's now sitting on the wall that's gonna get, that's gonna get thrown away. It's gonna get ripped down and thrown away. So I started taking photographs of them, and then I started making representational paintings of each one, uh, because I found those fascinating. And then I just started creating my own. And then through that, gave me this language that I was able to do what I've always wanted to do, was throw abstraction, representational, and dialogue and text into my art. So what started out as like an oh wow, oh my god moment with these pieces suddenly gave me a language that I'm able to now create these pieces of art where I can throw everything in and sort of make sense of it. And then start creating layers and sort of like layers of time. The process in building these, these structures usually starts out with a small piece, but primarily it, it is a it's like a piece of jazz. I start with a small little piece, and then it's all very random, very intuitive, and it just starts expanding. And then after some point, I'm no longer in control. Like the painting is telling me where to place a piece. Um, it, it's, it's, it's actually a very strange thing. Then it becomes like this dance where it's telling me to do this thing, and I'm sort of like, fighting a little bit and hesitating and then I got to go back in and then it, 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 it then it starts expanding into something much larger than what I originally wanted to do. Now where I'm at it's like I already know it's going to be a big piece so I just kind of just flow with it. <laughs>